Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to this vlog slash mini vlog i'm not sure what it's going to end up being so i'm gonna hope it becomes a full vlog but if it doesn't it's gonna be a mini vlog um so i haven't done a mini vlog in a long time i'm not gonna lie or a vlog in general in a long time i was just like i haven't talked to you guys in a bit um life has been lifing so yeah um i just got out of the shower um just want to do some skincare because my face is dry as you can see it's looking white okay so um the plan for today so today is friday march 17th um and i'm going for my friend's birthday dinner and i also have to leave the city tomorrow to go for my friend's bachelorette party um so yeah fun and it's pretty like tight because the bachelorette party is in the afternoon and it's in toronto and toronto is five hours away from me so i have to leave really early to make up to get there on time so i'm gonna leave ottawa probably like i don't know at this point um like 7 a.m., 6 a.m. I just wanna get there on time so I can shower, get dressed, do my makeup, so I'm not late, cause I don't wanna be the one that's late, cause I'm always late, as you guys know. I wanted to do, for makeup, I wanted to do the Uche um, makeup routine. It's been going viral on TikTok, and I was like, should I try it, should I not? Um, I haven't even watched any of her videos just to see like what it is, if I have the products or whatever. But I was just like, let me try it today. So I have my MacBook here, and we're just gonna work off that because my phone is so small, my iPad is charging. Um, so let's start. Um, I'm gonna cover up my hair because, or my lace, it's not my hair. Or it's my hair if you bought it, and I did, so it's mine. Um, so I'm just gonna cover that up. It's just like I'm using just like a workout band to just cover up the lace because I don't want to gunk it up. Perfect. I don't even need to use this because it's out of my face. Okay. So brows first, as usual. Um, so Uche is using like a brow gel to slick down her brows. Um, I'm not doing that. Well, like technically I am. I'm using like the Benefit Gimme Brow. I've had it for years. Um, it's like a, I won't even call it a gel because it doesn't, I don't think it holds down my brows, but it adds a little bit more color. It's in the color, I don't put it on here, but it's like the dark brown. Um, so I'm just going to do that for my brows. I actually always do this for my brows just to add a little bit of color, um, before I go in with my pencils. So, okay. So question though, have, am I the only one that hasn't? watch the Risa Tisa um who the F did I marry um or who the F did I marry yeah um I actually haven't watched it because whenever like whenever I see and they're telling me it's 45 minutes per episode and they're like almost 50 episodes I'm like ew I'm doing that I'll be 40 I think 40 something yeah it's basically almost 50 episodes I'm like that's a long time on TikTok like maybe Honestly, maybe I could watch it on TV. I'm not sure. Because on on YouTube, it's different because I can put it on the TV. I just sit down and relax. But I'm holding my phone for 45 minutes per episode. I don't know how I feel about that. But if you guys have watched the whole thing, let me know. Like, do you think it's worth the... Like, the worth the time? I don't think it's the hype because it's pretty hyped. So I would guess that it's interesting. It's just like, it's very long. Um, so you guys let me know if I should watch it and if I do then we'll talk about it in the next vlog. Hopefully, fingers crossed, I don't 
run away again. So I think they have like a normal one, they have soft matte and then they have a hydrating one. So Okay, so she goes on to primer um, and she's using the Fenty Soft Matte Primer. I don't have that. I have a Laura Mercier like, matte, for, uh, matte primer, but I don't want to use that now just because it's still a little cold in Canada and I don't want to dry out my skin too much. So I'm going to use the e.l.f. Power Grip with 4% niacinamide. I really love this because um, it's like the grip is gripping and also because I have oily skin I feel like the nice cinema just helps combat that I don't know I haven't tried the milk hydro grip that is like really popular that is supposed to be the original and this is a dupe I haven't tried that but um I like this one I'm gonna use it it's, it's what it is so I'm just gonna put some of that on and I find that when like so I notice like some people say oh it doesn't do the grippy thing Instead of rubbing it in, just like pat it in and I swear it does the grippy thing. I'll show you guys in a sec. A girl on TikTok did this thing with like a makeup brush. I'm just gonna do that. See? It's gripping. It's gripping. That's what I mean by just pat it in and it's gonna grip. Um, what's the next thing she does? Can you go for the soft mouth first? Um, so the next step is foundation. Um, she's using the uh, Danessa Myrick's like blurring balm thingy foundation thing. I saw it everyone on TikTok. I have not bought it because I have a lot of foundation. I must go through this before I buy another one. I'm sorry. I'm gonna use the one I have and then when I'm done, I'll buy that one. Um, so I'm using the NARS um, Natural Radiant in color Iguaco. I switched between Iguaco and Neo coriander new something um the one right before this the, a little bit lighter i stick between the two depending on how i'm feeling um but i'm using this one today so just gonna put some on oops i'm just blending that off with my foundation brush okay so foundation is on i'm looking a little glowy um which i do like because i still powder down my makeup because when I'm not, it's when it's not in the summer and I then use a matte foundation and powder it down. I feel like it's a little bit too matte um, until like my natural oils come in. But when it's like on a regular day, I'm just going to use a radiant foundation and a radiant primer. <laughs> um, but yeah, I feel like the glow is so nice and it's so cute. Um, so now to concealer. Um, so for concealer, she uses two shades, one that is lighter and one that is a little bit more not as bright. So I'm going to be using, where did I put it? Oh, yeah. So I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty Soft, oh, the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Concealer, not the hydrating one, just the regular one in 420. And then I'm going to use the Born This Way in um, Chestnut because this is lighter. And it's more like a yellow um she's using i think the pat mcgrath concealers again i feel like with a lot of the makeup tutorials using the products that you use sure if you have the money spend it but i feel like if you already have stuff at home try that first and then when you're done trying that if it doesn't come out the way you think it's going to come out then maybe invest in whatever she, the makeup artist is using um for me i'm going to use this one because I'm not buying any, like, I have a lot of concealers that I have not opened. Granted, I don't have the Pat McGrath concealer. Um, but I'm going to use what I have before I use anything else. I'm sorry. Um, just going to use that. Okay, so this is the first concealer, according to the way she put it. And then I'm going in with the lighter concealer, um, where she put it. Again, I feel like it's gonna look a lot different on me because we have a different we have different face shapes. I think her face is more heart shape and mine is more oblong, so it's gonna look different. Um, but we'll hope for the best. Okay, so these are the two concealers. Um, the darker one, the lighter one, the darker one, the darker one, lighter one, darker, um, mix of the two, mix of the two, mix of two everywhere else. Um she uses a blush to blend her concealer, which I do because I don't like sponges. I feel like it just takes away um, a lot of my coverage and I need coverage under my eyes. I need it because I want to look like I'm awake, not that I'm sleeping, you know? So for contour, I'm using the um, Fancy Matchstick in Ebony. Um, 
I switch between ebony and espresso depending on how tan I am. So I'm just going to start with this and see if I feel like if, it's, if it, this is the darker version. So if it's a little too dark, I'll switch to espresso. I'm going to start with this. Um, so she places it like here, I think. And then on her forehead, of course, because everybody needs help there. Um, or actually she places it on her chin, which I, again, I feel like this is what I normally do. I don't know. I think it's just her face. She's just a pretty woman, but like, come on. She's still fine. Um, and then I put it here. Again, this is where I normally place all of my, my contour on a regular basis. So I just think she's fine. And that's the thing. She's fine. Granted, her makeup skills are, but I, maybe it's the products. I don't know. Um, where else? Do I need to put anywhere else? Okay. Yeah. The top of my nose. Okay. This is different. I don't put it like on the top and the bottom. I just put it on the bottom. So put it there. Um, what else? Along my forehead, the semicircle five, and then... Okay, so I did notice that she brought the contour a little bit closer than I normally do, so I'm gonna do that because, see, the way I can... The, I need to chisel my cheeks because... Why is it so much? This Real Techniques 402 brush. I actually prefer this, the way this applies. This blends flat out when it's dirty as opposed to when it's clean. So in that sense, I'm gonna bite myself. My fault. Okay, hold on. This is a lot of concealer. Jesus, did I put too much? Oh, damn. So she's using a makeup sponge to um, blend out the excess. I'm gonna wet this. I haven't, I don't use beauty sponges, but I used to, then I switched to brushes and I never used them again. But considering the amount of concealer we have on, I need it, so be back. I'm gonna go back in with my contour brush just to add a little bit more definition that I lost. Um, but the beauty blender really helped a lot like with making it look a little less scary i still look scary but we're getting there it's a process trust the process so far i actually don't mind it i actually don't so far like we're still getting there but i actually don't mind it i was a little scared when we first started but it's looking more normal so now she's setting with the Charlotte Tilbury like airbrush powder thing. I don't have that. Um, so I'm going to use the Sephora Micro Smooth. This is the lightest powder I have. Hers is lighter, but she's lighter than me. So I'm going to use this one. Um, and then she uses like a, a brush. I normally use um, a loose setting powder first and then go in with um this i'm gonna use this and then go in with the powder later and she also uses a brush i use i normally use like a, a triangle thing so i need all the help i can get if it makes it look better i'm, I'm make it's i'm gonna oh my eyes are already creasing um so yeah i'm gonna try that My setting on my camera was a little too light, so I was looking like a ghost. Um, so I fixed it now. Um, so I'm just adding the loose setting powder before I add, sorry, the pressed powder before I add the loose one. Uh, so next is the Huda Beauty powder in Kunafi. Um, it's if you're like my shade or darker, this is your bowl alley. If you're lighter than me, then I think maybe you go for a lighter powder. I'm just opening this over the sink because it always gets everywhere. I normally use the, um, there's a lot of powder, use the um, triangle puff thing, but she uses this, so we'll try it. I'm scared that's going to be too much powder. 
but because it's like a brush I can't see how much is in there so let's hope for the best <coughs> damn Time in 06. I'm going in my bronzer. I'm using the Fantique Mokanami. I need to get a darker shade because I feel like it's not. It's hitting, but like I feel like I need a little bit darker. Maybe it's in my head, but that's what I currently have. And you can build it up to the intensity that you want it to be. So for a blush, I've already done this side. I forgot to record that part. It's the Sephora um, Matte. It's the Sephora Matte Perfection Blush Duo. It's like it's like this color. I don't know if you can see it properly. Um, so I'm just using that on my cheeks. Um, da, da, da. So my trusted duo. I freaking love them. Um, and the same brand that she's using. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush and One Size Perfection. Um, so I'm starting with this one. This is like the Jumbo size. Like this is huge. They had the Jumbo size in Sephora. And I was just like, I use it. Might as well. It's cheaper if you think about like how much you're getting. So I decided to use that. Just pay twenty dollars. <laughs> oh. <coughs> Don't spray it in your nose like me. Don't be stupid. Lip liner is um, Sephora Molasses. I love it. I just just like it. It's like a good dark brown, and it's also like very 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 smooth. So it just it just goes on so smoothly, and I don't have to sharpen anything. It's just there. Um, for lashes, I actually have the exact. Um, mascara she's using. I got the Hella Thick um, Fenty um, mascara, so I'm going to try it for the first time and hope for the best. Ooh, okay. And if you guys have been following my channel for, for a while, you know that things in my eyes don't work together. I always poke my damn eye, so let's hope for the best. Oh, damn. I was supposed to use a lash lifter thing. Oh, God, I'm scared. Jesus. Let's try. There's no difference. Maybe I don't know how to use this thing. I've had it for forever. I just don't. Okay. So this is without... This is with the mascara, this is without the mascara, so it does something. I'll give it that. Um, I think I got a little smudge over there. We'll fix that later. So let's try the other eye. I didn't do the lash lift thing on this eye because I already started, so. Oh wow. Actually did something. This is a lot of lashes. I normally don't. I've never used it before and I think I really like it. It's a lot though. It's like I'm not used to this much eye mascara or whatever. Because I did my top lash and my bottom lash and I don't know how I feel. Um, it definitely makes your eyelashes like fuller, like thicker, color thick. Um, how I feel about it, I don't know. What do you guys think of the lashes? Well, my lashes. It's not, I didn't add anything yet. I was thinking of adding some, but it's a lot of lash right now. So, cause normally I use like a really light um, 
mask her just like for a color not for volume or length or anything um she doesn't look bad now okay i like it now i'm weird guys so weird um okay i should actually don't hmm. i feel like they give me more of a doll eye than a lifted eye because I, I prefer the lifted look but they give me more of like a doll eye which is not, like not doll as in you're a doll person like doll like a talk like a plaything um it's not bad it's not bad at all I'm like look at myself in the mirror like is this me well i'm not done with the makeup so let me focus on finishing this thing because for the first time in a long time i'm actually early i'm supposed to leave my house at 7 30 and it's basically six o'clock so i have an hour and a half which is very good um so no rushing there so let's focus on i think it's the lip look putting on my nyx um lipstick and free spirit okay so eyeliner is done I think I'm done. I'm just gonna take these out and start on my hair. Okay. I was thinking of straightening, straightening my hair a little bit more, but it looks straight in my book. Um, I don't know. Do you think I need any more? And. I love like the jet like it's no longer jet black anymore because well I the color that was used was I think temporary so it's not as dark as before but it still looks really 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 good um I need to fix my part a little bit and I know I'm gonna get a couple questions about like why is my head poking up in the back I have a cone shaped head so in general Depending on how the wig is constructed, I get a cone shaped head. So, let me fix my part. Purchase your tracks today. I really like the hair, of course. Well, I've had it for like a long time. But almost like three years at this point um, and every time I feel like every time I wash my wig it comes out looking brand new once I've worn it like once twice it's not giving what it's supposed to give but then once I wash it and I you know just wash it basically shampoo not conditioner please you know like actual shampoo and then use your conditioner or whatever it just comes out looking so much better. Like, I haven't done anything outside of put conditioner on this hair. lashes on that mascara is doing something sweet because I don't have lashes on and normally like I need lashes um because my lashes are like really curly and they don't show um it was just like and the I don't know it just looks really good um and actually that's a lie I actually don't need lashes I use like the tiniest tiniest bit this is like the style it's like 
very natural and it's like a half lash this is what i normally use only on like the ends because i need a little something something but i didn't use it today and that mascara did some good stuff i actually really like it i really really like it okay so we actually have an hour before we have to leave the house so i'm going to use that time to pack up my suitcase for tomorrow i need to pack like the clothes the dress i'm wearing so makeup, you know, all of that fun stuff. So I'm gonna do that right now. Um, that's if I can stop staring at myself in the mirror. I look cute. No, it's not easy to be a fine girl. It's not easy. It's not easy. Okay, I actually need to pack now. So see you guys later. This will happen when I think about you. Ooh. I get in my feelings, yeah I start reminiscing, yeah Next time around, though, I want it to be different, yeah Waited on a sign, guess it's time for another prayer Lord, please save her for me Do me this one favor for me I had to change my play of ways No way too complicated for me I hope she's waiting for me Cause everywhere she goes, I'm playing my song That's why I say the things that I say that way So this is my dress it is a like a midi maxi more of a maxi it's like almost on my ankles um it's white it's pretty simple i love it it's just giving what it needs to give um i'm a little late and these are my earrings um you know gold um for a body oil my regular degular body oil i'm just going to use that everywhere um And if you guys already know, I really like that one because it smells really good. Um, so yeah, see? I don't know if you guys can see it properly over here, but you can see the glow. Um, so yeah, just the body oil would do the thing. If you want a little bit more shimmer, I would say use the Vaseline Cocoa Radiant. I have that too, but I was too lazy to go grab it. So I was just using this one. Um, we're glowing. And then... For perfume, for perfume, I'm using the Swiss Arabian Cher Ashila. It's a rose and oud, but a very sweet rose and oud. Like it's not too overbearing. Like if you're not sure about oud, this like this is a good introductory oud. I really like it. And for example, if you've tried Shagaf oud by this by Swiss Arabian, same company and found that a little bit too strong, this is your best bet. I hated Shagaf it was too much for me. But this one, so rings now, you guys already know, it's gonna be gold. So this is, this are the rings. I don't know why the lighting is looking so weird. Let me fix that. Okay, that's a little better. So these are the rings, as you guys can see. They are so cute. I recently got this and this. Um, I'll link it down below if I remember. And then shoes. I'm just wearing these from ASOS. They're just regular heels. And then I need to get my purse. It's right over there. I just need to wear my heels first. Okay, I'm back. And then this is my purse. It's so cute. And it's like a, not my purse, my clutch. 
Okay. So this is the fit. What do you guys think? Oops. bracelet so give me one second what do you guys think um this or this like just like a simple gold band um honestly i feel like it's not getting a little too much let me see with the full outfit okay um and this is this is not on properly one second uh, let's see You guys think it's too much? I don't know. Um, I'm also running late, so that might be also be why I'm so indecisive. I think I'm gonna go simple and just do the simple gold. Okay. It is on, nothing on this side. And what do you guys think? I feel like the gold band just ties everything together um, white and gold will always 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 hit so and they're calling me it's time to go bye something about your hands on my body feels better than any woman i ever been with something about the way you just kiss me i get nervous when it's my time to speak, so I just listen You got a hold on my soul Can I make you my wife, oh? Yeah, yeah. Just say yeah, yeah So can't keep composed I don't know how you came into my life yeah. Hey guys, so it's currently 5 a.m. Um, the next day Sa Sunday? No, Saturday, sorry. I'm half dead. Um, I'm about to leave my house to start my trip. So I'll talk to you guys at some point when I get there. Or I don't even know at this point. All I just know is I slept for less than four hours and I just want to sleep again. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. <laughs> Maybe God sent you And I'm thankful I'm speaking life into you Maybe I I need you The way that I see you Only God can do that Take care of my blessing. God is my witness, your destiny. Hey guys, um, so I'm running super, super, super late. I just want to show you guys what I'm wearing and get out the door. Uh, my purse is from Charles and Keith. It is this a black purse. It's a little dark. Give me a sec. Okay, better. So this is the purse. It's from Charles and Keith. It's a black, like hexagon bag. Um, perfume. I am using Girl of Now. Come on, focus. Girl of Now by Elisab. It's a very sweet almond um, tonka bean, you know, like all of that fun stuff. Um, if the light, like if the lighting or if everything <laughs> just like looks weird, I am not in my usual setup, so. Okay guys, um, this is the makeup look. Um, my regular, regular every day. Um, this is the ring that I'm wearing today. I wore this one yesterday. And also then this one. I feel like it's a little bright. Let me go back. It's like this is the rings. First set. Second set. Um, 
And this are my earrings, the Bottega dupe earrings. But I got the ones that are gold plated because my ear reacts to gold. Um, but these ones are really cute. They're really dainty and cute. I freaking love them. I feel like I look so cute. Um, let's do shoes and I'm just squat here. I feel like this is easier than trying to bend over this very low table. I'm wearing the bracelet from yesterday. Um, I can't put it on now. Shoes. It's these black um, heels from also Charles and Key. They're so freaking cute. Um, and they have like, like um, gems on them, as you can see. So cute. I'm actually sweating. Trying to make sure I don't forget anything. Perfumes on, earrings are on, phone, camera, you guys, of course. Um, lip, lip gloss. Yeah, I think we're good. Let's get out of here before. Uh, yeah. Love you like a brother, treat you like a friend, respect you like a lover.